So I was thinking, I feel sorry for fairies. I mean, they make the world go round, but only a handful of them ever get any credit for it. For example, the tooth fairy. She gets tons of attention. She just takes our teeth, and all she does is leave some negligible amount of spare change behind. The worst thing is, what we're really doing is supporting her enamel addiction. The poor soul has a serious problem, and we're enabling her. We should be ashamed of ourselves. What we should do is keep our teeth. That way the tooth fairy can save up some money for therapy. So there's the tooth fairy and the fairy godmother they're like the two big celebrities of fairyland i guess there's tinkerbell she gets some attention but she went like hardcore on her philanthropy there's tinkerbell but she went all hardcore on her philanthropy and moved to never neverland to help all those lost boys she's kind of out of the picture but what about all the other fairies? You know, where's their love? The bedhead fairy, the shoe fairy, the morning eye boogers fairy, the good news fairy, the sugar plum fairy, the glitter fairy. Flap wings, flap. All those fairies doing their job just as well as the next, but without the appreciation. The snickerdoodle fairy, the death metal ukulele fairy, the video game fairy, the dragon fairy, bedhead fairy. There are a lot of fairies out there that don't get any credit. Are gremlins the polar opposite of fairies? Maybe there's a war going on between fairies and gremlins. <laughs> I think there is. What's the difference between pixies and fairies? Is there a bippity boppity boop fairy? Just goes around bippity boppity booping things? Does bippity boppity boop actually mean anything? Do they have to say bippity boppity boop? Or can they just go and then that's it? I just want to go bippity boppity booping things and see what happens. Don't even get me started on male fairies. They're constantly emasculated by their female counterparts. You don't think of the tooth fairy as a guy. I think when you think fairy, you usually think tutus, magic wands, glitter. Think about it. Can you think of any fairies that are men? Are there any guy fairies? Oh, I can only think of one male fairy, and that's from the Fairly Odd Parents. That's the only guy. What was his name? I don't even remember his name. There's like Wanda, and then uh, the guy's name. I'm gonna Google it. I'll be right back. Apparently his name was Cosmo. I mean, just saying fairy is rough because it's always associated with feminine characteristics. The sleepy fairy. Oh, wait a second. The sleep fairy is called the Sandman. Could the Sandman be a fairy? Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. He just took fairy off his name because, like I said, he didn't like the association. Be careful though, because I'm guessing he took fairy off of his name for a reason. So don't call him the Sandman fairy. Stick with Sandman because he might not let you have any sleep. I say that the male fairies go on strike. Anyway, it's time that we celebrate a very special fairy. She's a fairy that we all love. And that fairy is the Friday Fairy! Without the Friday Fairy, what would we have to look forward to at the end of the week? How would we get through Monday? Don't get me started on the Monday Fairy. He's grumpy. The Wednesday Fairy is a camel. <laughs> so we should all celebrate the Friday Fairy. Happy Friday, everyone. And if you see the Friday Fairy, don't forget to thank her. Have a lovely, magical, special Friday. Have a great Friday. Boop. <laughs>